Hi, I'm Laura Clark. Thank you so much for joining me for my kitchen design webinar. So these webinars are all about giving you that information to allow you to approach your plan with fresh eyes, with an architectural mind. And this is, well, an architectural mind, my mind, <laughs> my architectural mind. So one of the things I love to do is create a view from the front door. So that idea of flow, not just circulation, but that view all the way through. So we're looking through past the dinner table, out to the garden beyond. We're going to crack on. We're going to go back in time to the Victorians um, and look at a fantastic house in um, St. Albans. So this is a really great Victorian terrace example, quite a typical example of a Victorian house. So let's look at the existing layout. We moved, um, I moved the bathroom up into the first floor. So we've got this massive big space at the back and the, the challenge is how are we gonna create something that works really beautifully with this great big open space. And this is how I approach it. And this is how I would encourage you to do it, to really sketch over kind of, oh, what happens if I put this space here? What happens if I put the kitchen up here? And, you know, and just imagine being in that kitchen, what you're looking out at. Imagine being at the table, can you see the dishes? imagine walking through the front door can you see your can you see your utility room or your um your sink with dirty dishes it's like it's it's kind of putting yourself in all these different places in the plan to to kind of visualize how you live in there and that's um what i'm doing through now i'm talking through so hopefully this will really help you see that methodology so that's one of my favorite images from your home made perfect it's these gorgeous crystal doors looking out over the garden um, and again you can see that contrast in the ceilings you're walking through and then you've got this fantastic like vaulted ceiling through to the back and there's the doors open as you can see you could just about make out i think that's the homeowner i think that's rob at the front door there so you can see you do have this view through albeit slightly broken up so we're now going to go into a little bit more detail um, about connecting kitchens to living and dining spaces. So this is a connection um, from a dining space through to a to the kitchen. We've got this very sleek kitchen um, with a little cheeky nana cupboard that you can't really see uh, through to the utility, and then looking back from the kitchen into that space. So we you can see we zoned it off. We've got the seating area there with the um, the bookshelves, and then looking through to a little play space beyond. And this is it as it was built. We've got this glass connecting the two. So the light comes in, it's flooding that kitchen, it's flooding the dining space without giving loads of glare and heat from the sun. So the last thing we're gonna look at is kitchen hacks. Now kitchen hacks is something I do all the time, but it's my least favorite term in the world. So if anybody has a better expression, I would love to hear it and I will use it forever and be eternally grateful. Think in straight lines. So this is a really inexpensive kitchen, but as you can see, the lines all work really beautifully and the worktop just kind of sandwiches in there. And the worktops, uh, sorry, the, the floor to ceiling units go all the way up to the top, just skimming the, the ceiling. So there's no kind of massive big gap. So think in straight lines. So in this, in a really high ceiling, rather than having a big gap, I've actually put the, the, the top cupboards almost to the ceiling there. And you can see the little um, step ladder. And that's basically because you need the step ladder to get into those top cupboards. So as long as you haven't got stuff in there that you need every single day, then it works quite nicely. Replacing doors. So actually these two kitchens are exactly, in fact, these three, four kitchens are exactly the same kitchen. These are all the cheapest ikea kitchen black carcass kitchen and um, that we replace the door so look at ways of finding an inexpensive kitchen ikea are great for all the bits they have inside their cupboards and doors that you know they they're real kind of trailblazers in kitchen design so by replacing their inexpensive doors with plywood you get a really sturdy feel so that is my deep dive into kitchen design i hope you enjoyed it um I hope it's given you loads of inspiration and ideas and a real clear method to finding your way around any kitchen design problems that you have and looking at a way to find your dream kitchen in the space that you have.